This is Pearson et al. IAL Pure Math 1 from the June 2022 paper uh, that deals with functions and calculus. This is just number D. So it's question 10, just number D. For this question, we had um, previously been given that the gradient of the line L, which is here, that we're not given, we worked out that the gradient, which is a small m, is equal to negative one over seven. So we worked it out in a previous question. And then it gave us further information that L has a y-intercept of minus one. So zero minus one lies on the curve, um, on the line, excuse me. So that means that it hits here at, at minus one. Okay, and it asks us to find the value of k. k comes from a previous question as well. So it's even further back than that. So this was given in the beginning of the question, figure five showing the curve. And here's the equation of the curve that was given. Right, let's take a look. So number D. Uh, number D is saying, what is K? What is K? Let me write this in first. So Y equals two over seven X three plus one over seven X squared minus five over two X plus K. That's the K they're talking about. Just get that out of the way. Good. Well, first, uh, the K is where the curve hits the, um, oh, this I drew in the wrong place. It's not where the line hits the X. It was where the line hits the Y. Look at the question. Let's just make sure of that. It said the Y intercept. So it's where the line hits the Y is minus one. Okay. And K is where the curve hits the Y. So one way we could solve that is to somehow find this k, um, which you would need uh, maybe a, a point on the graph or something that you could sub into the curve, and and then you could solve the unknown k. But we don't. I don't have any uh, points on this graph that are easily to solve. So what I'm going my uh, plan of attack for this question is to take the curve equal to uh, the line. Uh, the reason I know that um, at these two points, A and B, it's true that the curve equals the line. So we can say that it's true that this curve, Y, is equal to the line at point A and B. So we can therefore make an equation simultaneously and solve for only one under A, A uh, K, as long as we have the line L. Okay, so the first step is, well, what is L? We already have the gradient of L, and we know that it's a line. So Y equals MX plus C is the format it's going to be in. Subbing in what we know, we have Y equals 1 over 7X plus C. And then going on what was given, it was given that the y-intercept of L is minus one, and C is the y of the y-intercept, so minus seven x minus one, okay. Um, if you uh, want a sort of a more solid for y-intercept, you could let x equal to zero, so you're basically subbing zero minus one into the equation y equals minus one over seven X minus uh, plus C. So it would just be minus one where the Y's go, minus one over seven, zero plus C, plus one over seven on both sides. And it's, um, uh, where are we? Hmm, that doesn't work. Why doesn't that work? Um, oh because it's times by zero. <laughs> there we go. 
So C is negative one. Just another method. Right. But we can do it by inspection as well. So we have two lines and we can equate them to each other. These y's are at point A and B equal to each other. Okay. This is equal to this at point A and B. So it can be true and we can solve for K. It's only one unknown. Let's do it. So we get um, minus one over seven X minus one or equal to the curve two over seven X three plus one over seven X squared minus five over two X plus K. Okay, so that's our unknown. Um, furthermore, we also had information from a previous question that we had one point, we had, we had this point A, it was given that point A had an X coordinate of seven over two. So our point A had an X coordinate of seven over two and some Y over there, okay? So we can sub our, x equals uh, just negative seven over two. And solve for k. Okay, that's not part of your proof. So we're going to uh, solve for k. This is only one unknown after that. So two over seven, every time you see an x, you put a, 7 over 2, negative 7 over 2. 1 over 7, negative 7 over 2 squared plus, uh, this was minus. Five over two, uh, where are we? Negative seven over two plus K all equal to negative one over seven, negative seven over two. Minus one. That's it. Subbed in my value at point. Um, it was point A that was given from a previous question. Okay. Um. So, just uh, gonna rely heavily on my calculator for this one. But let's first put everything. So we want k on one side. We would be putting this into the calculator. One over seven minus seven over two, minus one. Then we minus two over seven, minus seven over two, minus one over seven, seven over negative seven over two squared, minus five over two, check all those double negatives and stuff. And that fantastic piece of work is K, which comes to a nice neat number of five over four. Great. All right, that was the final question of the paper one, 2022, number D. Um, always go on the information that's given. It helps you find out, but if there's another way you can think of to solve it, then it's also always valid. Good.